Well, thank you, Kim. And uh, first, on behalf of my sister, uh, I'd like to thank the nominating committee of the Hall of Fame uh, for this uh, recognition of her professional accomplishments. Um, and I want to congratulate the other journalists uh, who are being honored here tonight uh, for their achievements. I must say that uh, I am accepting this honor for my sister with some diffidence uh, because I have absolutely no credentials as a journalist. <laughs> uh, unless you were to count uh, my having been uh, editor-in-chief of the Trojan Trumpet at uh, East Lansing High School a, a long, long time ago. And I have to concede that uh, Professor Voss uh, actually knows Roberta Applegate, the journalist, uh, better than I do. Uh, the person I know is Bobby Applegate, uh, known to her extended family as uh, Bobby Grace, uh, to her mother as Bob's, to her father as his Rosebud, and to me as Bob. Uh, my big sister, who uh, tried so hard to teach her wiggly little brother how to swim, uh, my companion on hikes and mushroom hunts, camping and fishing trips where she proudly baited her own hook and insisted on cleaning her own fish. Uh, the girl who could uh, beat me at chess and tennis and uh, outmaneuver me on the Ouija board, I still don't know how she did that. <laughs> uh, the uh, girl who had a minor in music, whose piano was the background music of my childhood. The young career woman who took up golf and uh, learned to pilot an airplane. The woman of the world uh, who took me to my first really fine restaurant and my eye-opening first nightclub act. <laughs> I also knew her as the influential friend who got me into the first national political convention I ever attended. Uh, the mentor uh, who opened doors and offered insights when I was uh, writing my Princeton thesis with the optimistic and uh, evidently timeless title, uh, The Search for Responsible State Government in Michigan. <laughs> and, <laughs> and that was 60 years ago. <laughs> well, in, in remembering my sister, as I do, uh, I have a special thank you for Professor Voss. Uh, over the years, as you may imagine, I have grown used to hearing from people who, whose lives were personally touched by my father or my sister. Uh, what makes this recognition especially meaningful to me is that Kimberly Voss, who proposed Roberta for the Hall of Fame, never knew her. She never met my sister. She never met my father. She wasn't a student. She wasn't a colleague. She wasn't a friend. She is a historian who discovered Roberta Applegate and recognized her for what she was, a groundbreaking and consequential woman journalist in a time when that was a pretty tough and frustrating road to hold. My sister's honor tonight is not based on sentiment, affection, influence, family ties, or old college loyalty. It is an objective recognition of her professional excellence. I'm proud to accept it in her place as she would be, to join our father as a member of the Hall of Fame which he founded so many years ago. I'm a proud son and a proud brother. 
Way to go, Bob.